Somebody stop me. You see that? Three fingers of way back at me. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that. I'm on an emotional roller coaster. Oh, hey y'all. How you doing? Welcome back to another video. If you don't already know who I am, it's your girl Jenna. Welcome. If you are new here, I hope you subscribe. I hope you find more videos that you like. And yeah. So obviously your girl went through heartbreak do you want to talk about heartbreak because i feel like we've all been there at some point like how old are you because if you're as old as i am you've been through heartbreak at some point this is so unusual for what i tend to do on this channel i'm not somebody that gives advice or you know i don't know <laughs> try to tell you how to live your life because i'm just about to live my life let me clean my glasses because I feel like my lenses are doing a little too much and your girl doesn't have any contacts so this is it this is us there we go um for the past couple of months I battled with something that I feel like I can touch on it so maybe this is not advice per se but this is a, what a what Jenna did to overcome heartbreak and maybe just maybe this information can help one person or two or maybe all of you I don't know <laughs> but if it helps you all I'd be really happy anyway you take whatever nuggets you find valuable from what I have to say and you keep on keeping on <laughs> now the one thing I will say though we always think that heartbreak is romantic heartbreak can be from like friends friendships can end and lead to heartbreak relations with you know certain acquaintances can lead to heartbreak even breaking ties with certain family members could lead to heartbreak because in a sense you're hurt that the relationship that you had with that person is no longer that it's it's over but <laughs> in my case it was romantic but i just want to put it out there that there are different kinds of heartbreak <laughs> grab a drink make yourself comfortable and let's discuss and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel just because we could be friends like you see a friend in me who got a friend in me okay so i think i should start off with a little bit of history like your girl had a man i mean you know look at me i'm not a donkey so i had a man at one point in my life and um at a recent point in my life let me stop you know when it when a relationship ends it's wow it's earth shattering if you will just because you start envisioning a future with this person you start making plans you like everything shifts or everything revolves around the two of you and whatever you know family members get added onto it in my case i come with kids the other person came with kids and it was a lot of a lot of people involved like it was a lot and then you know the person's family was lovely so then i got attached and the person got attached to my family so it's like i mean once i detached I'm still attached to the family because the family is beautiful, but <laughs> it's kind of hard to like fully, fully detach. It's not like you close the book and call it a day and it's over. You know, the pain, the realizations, the reflections, like they all come tumbling down on top of you because it's like, yo, like how much time was invested in this relationship? Like what? You know, we made plans. I saw my future with you. You know, we joined bank accounts. Relationship changes your life physically. Does that make sense? Like everything gets reordered and then you have to jumble it all back. Or it's not even jumbling it back because you're never the same person you were before you started the relationship. So everything gets jumbled and now you have to pick up the pieces. And then that's the thing, like you think like, I cried with this person, I laughed with this person, I opened up to this person. This person becomes like your best friend, your confidant, your your brother or sister, you know, you know that cousin that y'all be cackling with. And I think the worst thing as well is the faith that you had in that person because i think like faith is what keeps us going so when you have faith in something or someone and that gets you know you come to a point where you have to stop <laughs> having faith in someone i think that hurts so much like that is the hardest thing for me anyway so then you go through a series of steps to overcome a relationship you go through a roller coaster of emotions i'm on an emotional roller coaster loving you ain't nothing healthy if you know that song you my roll dog so let's talk about like you know what i did and i'm sure this is what everybody does to overcome heartbreak 
And I mean, you never fully overcome it. It just gets less hard to a point where you start like forgetting that you're heartbroken and then you just keep on keeping on, you know, but you go through a, ster a series of steps. And I think there are healthy steps to go through and then there are unhealthy steps to go through. In my past, I've gone through the unhealthy route where I told myself that I don't care and then, yeah, that was it. And then, you know, I'm, I'm getting into other situations, still hurting from my previous situation and then just making a mess out of all the situations. And we're not trying to do that. Not in my 36 years of life because if I didn't learn nothing until now, I learned how to do it. <laughs> I just try to be a better person overall. So in my humble journey, these are some of the things that I did to overcome heartbreak. The first thing that I will say, feel all the feels. Like, go through that emotional roller coaster, pay the ticket, get on the roller coaster, sit and ride all of your emotions sis, until you come out on the other side. Because pretending that they're not there is disastrous for your mental well-being, okay, for your psychological well-being, is disastrous. Just feel the feels. If you need to scream, scream. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to shout, if you need to dance, if you need to run. Exercising is a great way to, you know, deal with your emotions because you can think about what's going on but also keep your body moving and active and, you know, that's, if you're that way inclined, that's amazing. Um, if you need to eat, eat, but be healthy and be responsible and don't bury all of your heartbreak in food because then you're gonna be looking like potato while your ex is looking all fly don't do that to yourself okay because that's something that i would do normally i just comfort eat but i had to tell myself no it's not worth it you can't be coming out on the other side looking like a bag of potatoes no 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 uh -uh. we're not doing that anymore we're not about that even though i did comfort eat a lot i'm not gonna lie but i'm getting myself together now I didn't even recognize myself. Like, I, I'm really proud to be a G. I don't usually sweat men. <laughs> I don't sweat people I'm dating just because I'm just like, look, I love myself way more than I love anybody else. I'm selfish in that regard. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm really selfish. Like, can't nobody match up to how I love myself except my kids and God. Yeah, but like, as far as a, a partner, never in this case your girl got caught and i was really in my feels and i had to go through all the emotions i couldn't do what i used to do in the past which is like try to bury my heartbreak in someone else's you know what i mean right <laughs> i couldn't do that so i went through all the feels and when i tell y'all your girl was crying in the shower your girl would be eating a piece of toast your girl is crying your girl will be walking down the street your girl is tearing your girl is going through everything but it got to a point where i realized oh i'm not crying anymore like this is awesome oh my god look at the sky it's so beautiful you just have to go through it okay and then i think the next step is reflection like you have to reflect on the relationship sometimes we realize later on down the line like oh there were red flags there initially but i chose to ignore it because i desperately wanted to be in a relationship or i chose to ignore it because i was so in love that i thought i was making up those red flags or i just felt like ignoring the red flags because because and you know there are other things that you can reflect on but you also need to be self-aware in your moment of reflection because there's always two sides of the story your partner this your partner that but what about you like i had to sit with jenna and be like jenna but where did you go wrong in this you know i saw some of the things that i did wrong you know i can't always blame somebody else like i have to be aware of myself and my wrongdoings and my shortcomings that's the only way you grow if you avoid having those uncomfortable conversations with yourself you will not grow you will always be the victim have this victim mentality and what does that do for you it won't do any i mean you could it's not like it's gonna stop your life no but then you want to be a better version of yourself like if the iphone keeps getting updated every other day why shouldn't you update yourself it's all about evolution and the only way you can do that is by being self-aware taking accountability for your actions and then just knowing what you can do better every day it's so easy to point a finger but when you point a finger you have three pointing back at you you see that three fingers pointing back at me <laughs> bet you didn't know that you learned something today okay <laughs> somebody somebody stop me because <laughs> i think i'm marissa pierce <laughs> okay and then after reflection i think it's like acceptance um at least that's how we went for me like accept the fact that it's over it is what it is accept the fact that that person has moved on that person 
is probably married, living his best life, got new kids and everything. Like it is what it is. Accept the fact that your life, you know, you now have to like restart your life for some people or you have to figure out who you are now like you now you got work to do on yourself you just have to accept that this is your new reality and you just pick up from here and move forward accept the things that you cannot change and let go of whatever else doesn't serve you and i think a big thing in acceptance uh, especially for me because there were times where my mind would start like formulating really negative thoughts towards the other person and I had to stop myself because I don't know I'm a little bit of like a kitty cat I don't want to say the other word about the energy that I put out I always feel like after I had kids I try not to wish bad on anybody else because I feel like it will come back on me and if it doesn't come to me it will come it will go on my kids I'm not gonna lie I'm only human every now and then you know a negative thought would start trying to formulate in my brain and I just have to Sorry, I just had to like catch it and send it back out the window because we're not trying to have that. I'm not trying to wish no ill on you so that it could come back 10 times fold on me. No, sir. I just want positivity and peace in my life. You know, once you accept that that's your reality, once you accept that that person has moved on, wish that person well and just focus on you. Whenever negative thoughts are coming into your head, automatically make yourself think of something else. I know sometimes you think, oh, but I can't do anything about it. It's my brain doesn't, no, 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 no. If you are formulating a thought and you do not want to think about that, you can make yourself think about something else. Pick up something and think of something else. Do something and think of something else. You know, the way that I do it, I'm like, God, please remove all of these negative thoughts from my mind. I'm past this. So I do not want to think it. If it's coming up, God, I rebuke, I rebuke that negativity in my mind. That's what I do. And I don't want to wish no ill on nobody because then it's going to come on me and my kids and I don't want that. Lord, you know I don't want that. And then I think the next step is like rebuilding because now you got to like find the new you, like Jenna 2.0. You know, you got to work on your self-esteem, on your confidence. You got to reassess your goals, reassess your dreams, reassess who you want to be and figure out what steps you can take to become that person. And then just work towards it fall in love with yourself sis heartbreak shouldn't define you if anything it is a learning curve it, and we need it we need it so that we can know how to process other situations that might come forth in our lives you know because situations will arise in our lives but you gotta be strong about it stronger smart Whatever it is, you gotta be about it. I think like find hobbies, find things that you wanna do, find things that give you purpose or that give you motivation. Find things that light your fire. In my case, I'll do my makeup so I can make myself feel good. I put on a nice outfit so I can make myself feel That bag is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Should I? I'm gonna... There we go. There was nothing there. Everything's fine. Okay, so find hobbies, find things that you like to do, talk to your friends, rekindle old relationships that maybe like, you know, cause sometimes we let go of certain relationships, especially if it's with the opposite sex, for our partners or for the sake of our relationship. Be with the people that uplift you. Do not close yourself off for too long. Take the time that you need for yourself but also let people in because at the end of the day, we are human, we are communal beings. We need people. We need the energy from other people to keep us going. So don't close yourself off for too long because then you, you'll be stuck in your mind and then you'll be overthinking and overanalyzing and it's just not good for you, okay? And then you open the door. <laughs> you open the door to new dreams, to new opportunities, to new discoveries, new connections, if you will. In other words, do not close yourself off. Open yourself up because life continues. You know, this heartbreak is not your death. Although when you experience heartbreak, Sometimes it's like you're mourning. So that's why I like I had to go through those steps. Like I was mourning. You mourn the loss of what could have been. You mourn the loss of that friendship, that love, that, you know, whatever came with your relationships because all relationships are different. Those are the steps that I had to go through to overcome heartbreak. And I will say like till this day, the idea of or, you know, the, the person's name just... You know, like it just, 
it's like when water hits something hot you know, <laughs> it scalds you uh, <laughs> but you overcome eventually it won't even it won't even bother you at all and you'll be free free to get under somebody else's sun okay okay girl <laughs> You do not need to be taking advice from me all the time, okay? Take the important nuggets, okay? The rest, just leave it here. <laughs> leave it here and walk away, sis. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful in some way. You know, if you have any questions for me or any comments, please make sure you leave them down below and we will discuss. If I missed anything, do add it on down below and we will discuss it further. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna catch me on social media, that's Life of Jenna on Instagram, Life of Jenna on TikTok, Life of Jenna on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share, and I will catch you on my next video.